the third secret's been revealed in its entirety because the Vatican has Lucia's original written in Portuguese. You know, and you go on the internet and find it. Pope John Paul II said the message was given. The present Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI, said the whole message has been given. Sister Lucia, I understand from people who knew her, was very upset when people said the whole message was not given. On February 13, 2005, after a lifetime satisfying what she believed were the Blessed Mother's wishes to spread the message of Fatima, Sister Lucia died of natural causes at the age of 97. Two months later, Pope John Paul II, aged 84, also died. Today, the Vatican continues to uphold its belief in the events that took place in Fatima in 1917. Pope Benedict XVI wrote a complete comprehensive explanation of Fatima. The apparitions have the approval of the Church. All of the prophecies have come true. But for some, questions remain about whether the prophecies are complete. They believe we may still be heading for global annihilation. The prophecy has two sides to it. Either there will be war so terrible that nations will be annihilated, or there will be world peace. To the Catholic Church and believers in the prophecy, the message of Fatima remains urgent. The message that Our Lady came to bring, it's often called the peace plan from heaven. Mary came to tell us that we have to live responsible lives. The apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima were one way, among many, of God coming into our world and saying, watch out, there's something which is not going well. The world is in danger. We are not happy with what is going on. Has the third secret been decisively revealed? Or is there more, as some believe, hidden in the long shadow of the Vatican? When you look at our country today, and I'm talking about the United States, we are perched on the precipice of the annihilation of nations Our Lady warned of. But, annihilation, when you say that word, a mushroom cloud comes to people's minds and everything being blown up. But that's only one way to annihilate a nation. If you decimate the economy of a nation, you annihilate it. Interpreters of today's events suggest that there is that possibility with Wall Street in continued crisis and nuclear weapons in the hands of radical extremists. The United States is the only country that has ever used nuclear weapons. And I think once the second country does it, it'll be much easier for the third and then the fourth and then the fifth one to do it. Others suggest there is an opportunity to successfully change course. The real question is, whether we use our free will to bring world peace to Earth first. As the world's two leading nuclear powers, the United States and Russia must lead by example. Or whether we use our free will to bring hell to Earth first. Because what's at stake is the salvation of souls and world peace. And what could be more important to humanity than the salvation of souls and world peace? If the Fatima prophecy converges with peace among nations, this may serve as a final vindication of the three children and their vision.